Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to 2023. I hope your holidays were well. I thought I'd kickstart the new year with a full week of workouts. So in this particular week, as I have been doing lately, I've been working out about three to four times a week. So this is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split. Here we are on Monday. I am stretching, doing a deep stretch. I also want to mention to you, if you are someone trying to get consistent with a workout routine or stay motivated just know that it is okay to start small you do not need to go to the gym seven days a week kick start this new year working out every day and exhausting yourself early on get yourself into a good groove and start slowly but start shortly so i did some dynamic stretching and on this particular day this was a leg day, full quad and glute focused. So I'm doing some RDLs here. I will show you different angles, but right now I am doing more of a, a quad focused RDL. My legs are a bit straighter in this one. I am doing about 10 to 15 reps, three sets. And that is me from another angle doing the same exact thing, not bending my knees as much to target my quads. Sucking in my stomach as I come up, and that is the first set, or the first workout. Now, standing in the same place, I'm doing a squat. Now, you guys, I'm not going to lie. I definitely want to work on my squat game. I'm definitely not going as low as I could be and not using as heavy of a weight as I should be. Uh, this is also another tip I have for anyone that is just trying to get back into the swing of working out or if you are just entirely new to working out. Don't consider yourself behind or lagging. You are exactly where you need to be. So if the weight is at your max right now and it's not a weight you're proud of, don't let it get to you. Just shrug it off and keep going to the gym and working on it. Here I am coming over to do a banded workout. I am using my medium bands. Now this is footage from a few weeks ago now so I have gotten myself up to the hardest band but this is my medium band it gets a good sweat in it really activates my glutes and I'm actually gonna leave the link below to the video I watch on a regular basis every time I do this banded glute workout it's super intense it's about 10 minutes and it really gives a good burn so I'll leave that link below and yeah this is a series of those workouts Okay, here we are on Wednesday. I am starting out with a deep stretch. Now, I've kind of been uh, playing around with my stretching routine in the beginning of my workouts. I started off Monday with a dynamic stretch. Now, here we are Wednesday. I'm doing more full body stretching. And, um, you know, this is just kind of getting me nice and limber and warmed up for my workout routine. I know you guys see me putting on these bands and are probably like, what are you thinking? But I did want to activate my glutes again on this day. I was originally trying to do two glute dates a week. This is not a set in stone routine for me, but I'm just kind of playing around with my workout split and how I want to do things. So I have my bands on because I am just trying to do a glute activation. Originally, my plan was to do more of a glute focused leg day on this particular day. But as you'll be able to see soon, I just ended up doing a full banded workout routine, the same one that I did the day before. These are just some additional you know, warm up exercises to get my glutes feeling the burn. So I'll take you guys through this. And yeah, here I just literally started doing the same glute routine that I did two days prior. You've done to me now. You 
got a body like a model You got a body that you always find Open up a bottle And baby, you can have whatever you want You taste so sweet I can't help myself You like candy You like liquid honey You taste so sweet I can't help myself You like candy You like liquid honey You like liquid honey You like liquid honey So on the next part of this random workout split, I did my glute banded workout. And I also, obviously, as you can see, I have my waist trainer on today, but I started my actual working sets of hip thrusts here. And um, I am trying to play around with what weights work best for me, um, how I'm best performing my form and, uh, this was a really draining day, not going to lie, you guys. I really was just all over the place, just kind of figuring out how my body is feeling, what I want to do, you know. What I will say I learned through this week is that when I do my leg days, I'm not going to be as focused to wear the waist trainer, but I do find the waist trainer really helpful when I do like back and biceps or I do, um, you know, back strengthening workouts i just feel like the waist trainer secures me it makes me almost feel like i have a, a belt on my back or i have more support so i'm rambling but basically i started off with hip thrust i was trying to experiment with these pull-ups on the smith machine uh this is actually a really good workout for the back um i will say that it worked up a sweat. I couldn't even get through a full three sets. So here I am now. Oh my God, you guys look at my face. <laughs> I'm doing some Bulgarian split squats. Now these, I definitely need to practice more. I need to get my strength in my quads. So, you know, no, nothing to it, but to do it, you know? So I am practicing these unweighted trying to stay focused what helps me stay balanced is also looking at a spot on the floor and just keeping eye contact with that area then i thought i'd finish off my workout on an incline on the treadmill so i just went for a walk for about 30 minutes i was trying to do 12 3 30 but honestly I couldn't even make it up into like a five incline. So I just kind of stayed at two or three and I just walked for 30 minutes. And that was my workout for day two. All right, welcome to Friday. This is my third day of this random workout split week. <laughs> and I am focusing primarily on my arms. So I'm doing some stretches here to kind of push myself off of the floor. Um, I really want to, like it's a really big goal of mine for this year to work on my back and my, what do you call these, triceps, like the fat on the back of my arms, like that bat wing area. I'm really trying to get rid of that once and for all this year. So we'll see how it goes. But I have some lightweighted dumbbells. I believe these are 7.5 pounds. And I honestly can't even remember the actual workouts I was doing. I'm just going to let you guys watch this sequence. Okay, so now I am going over to the lat pull down machine. This is one of my favorite workouts to do on a pull day. And I wanna start incorporating my splits 
or I should say organizing my splits into push day, pull days, quad focus days, and glute focus days. I think that's going to be a good start for me. And then I can pick like a yoga day and, you know, a cardio day. But um, for right now, I am on the lat pull down machine working out the lats. And that's where I'm at. Now, what better way to end off a completely random workout split type of week than to come back the very next day, day four, and I was just kind of feeling my body, seeing what I wanted to do. Honestly, I started off on the Stairmaster. I did this for about 10 minutes on speed seven, and I was completely fried. My legs were sore from the two prior leg days this week. My back was feeling it and my arms were feeling it. So I gave myself some grace on this particular day. I went home and my diet for the day pretty much was just water, fruits and vegetables. And um, that completes my full week of workouts this particular week. So moving forward, I do feel I have a clearer workout split, which I'm super excited to share with you guys in the next video. But thank you so much for watching, sticking by my side, and I'm looking forward to connecting with you all and growing this channel and informing you on my progress and my journey and hopefully going along with you guys and yours. So I'll see you in the next one.